Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to take a comprehensive and complete look at the genetic origins of modern day Iranians including the Kurds and Azerbaijanis. In other words, the primary objective of this video is to explore the genetic origins of the modern day Iranians. Again, this will be a complete and comprehensive guide. Overall, you'll be able to see that in this analysis, the modern-day Iranians, including the Kurds and Azerbaijanis, are mostly of Iran Chalcolithic, Early Iranian, and Ancient Caucasian descent from the Kuraraxid culture with very little foreign ancestry. This analysis will focus on the available population averages for modern-day Iranians, including Kurdish and Azerbaijani groups. In fact, the genetic origins of the Kurds and Azerbaijanis residing outside of Iran will also be explored here. Now without further ado, I'd like to begin. Up first, here are the source populations that will be utilized here. So you can see that there's an early Iranian Yaz component, there's an Iran Chalcolithic component, there's a Kuraraxis component, there's an Iron Age Hellenic component, there's a late antique Arab component, there's a medieval Turkic component, a medieval Mongol component, a Bronze Age South Asian component, a modern Caucasian component, and a Sub-Saharan African component. Now to get into the analysis here is the admixture panel for the modern Iranian. So you can see they're on average 22.6% Yaz Aryan derived, 45.9% Iran Chalcolithic, 9.0% Kuraraxis Caucasian, 7.7% Ancient Hellenic, 4.8% Late Antique Arab, 2.4% Medieval Turkic, 1.1% Medieval Mongol, 5.1% Bronze Age South Asian, 1.2% Modern Caucasian, and 0.1% Bantu. Now crucially with these results what you can see is that the descent mostly comes from a Yaz Aryan and an Iran Chalcolithic source with only minimal foreign ancestry and you can see that most of the Caucasian ancestry comes from an ancient source. So what this means is that most of the ancestry that is harbored by modern day Iranians largely comes from Central Asia and Iran and also the Caucasus with very little ancestry coming from an ancient Hellenic Arab, medieval Turkic, medieval Mongol, South Asian, modern Caucasian and Sub-Saharan African sources. Overall, as you can see with these results, modern Iranians thus descend mostly from Iran Chalcolithic farmers and early Aryans from Yaz, which is quite interesting and remarkable. What this also means is that on a genetic level, the Iranians of today are largely a contiguous population and one of the most contiguous populations in the Middle East today. Moving on, here are the breakdowns for the Eastern Iranians from Khorasan. So you can see they're on average 26.9% Early Aryan from Yaz, 34.7% Iran Chalcolithic, 2.2% Kuraraxis Caucasian, 7.1% Iron Age Hellenic, 3.1% Late Antique Arab, 4.0% Medieval Turkic, 4.4% Medieval Mongol, 13.4% Bronze Age South Asian, 4.0% Modern Caucasian, and 0.3% Sub-Saharan African. Now with these results, you can see elevated amounts of South Asian ancestry, which is interesting, as well as East Asian ancestry in the form of the medieval Mongol sample, though there is a bit of medieval Turkic ancestry as well, though nonetheless you can see very minimal amounts of Iron Age Hellenic Kuraraxis as well as Late Antique Arab ancestry, which is quite interesting, and also minimal Sub-Saharan African and modern Caucasian ancestry. So much like the other Iranians, you can see that the Eastern Iranians have very little foreign ancestry, though their South Asian ancestry is elevated. And again, you can see significant Aryan ancestry at 26.9% and Iran Chalcolithic ancestry at 34.7%. Thus, the Iranians from Khorasan and the eastern part of the plateau are largely genetically contiguous. Now, here are the Iranians from Azad Mard's personal collection, as well as one sample set from my collection, which is the Persian from Far sample set. So, these results are very interesting. Regarding their origins, you can see that these uh, samples are on average 17.4% Early Iranian or Aryan, 43.8% Iran Chalcolithic, 13.2% Kuraraxis, only 6.9% Iron Age Hellenic, 5.7% Late Antique Arab, 3.4% Medieval Turkic, 0.5% Medieval Mongol, 4.2% Bronze Age South Asian, 4.7% Modern Caucasian, and 0.2% Sub-Saharan African. Thus, with these results, you can see mostly descent from an Iran Chalcolithic source as well as an Aryan source, which is interesting, and a Caucasian source as well, with only minimal foreign ancestry. Though, again, the Caucasian ancestry is a bit elevated here, it nonetheless is minimal. And overall, what this means is that these samples are also largely genetically contiguous. Up next, we have the breakdowns for the Iranian Kurds of today. So, they're on average 22.1% early Iranian or Aryan. 
36.0% Iran, Calcolithic 19.6%, Kuraraxis 9.2%, Iron Age Hellenic 6.6%, Late Antique Arab 0.7%, Medieval Turkic 1.6%, Medieval Mongol and 4.3% Bronze Age South Asian. Now with the Kurds what you can see here is that they're again mostly of Aryan, Iran, Calcolithic and Kuraraxi dancery though their Aryan answer is a bit deflated whereas their Kuraraxi dancer is inflated and you can also see very little Iron Age, Hellenic, Late Antique, Arab, Medieval Turkic, Medieval Mongol and Bronze Age South Asian ancestry. You can also see no Sub-Saharan African ancestry. What's interesting to note here is that with the Kurds you can see a great degree of genetic continuity and less foreign ancestry compared to the other Iranians though less Aryan ancestry as well which is quite interesting and remarkable. Now moving on, the last of the Iranian samples analyzed here are the Azerbaijanis. Iran's Azerbaijanis are on average 14.1% Aryan from Yaz, 33.7% Iran Calcolithic, 17.4% Kuraraxis, 12.3% Iron Age Hellenic, 4.8% Late Antique Arab, 3.2% Medieval Turkic, 6.0% Medieval Mongol, 3.4% Bronze Age South Asian, 5.1% Modern Caucasian and 0.1% Sub-Saharan African. Overall, what you can see with these uh, Azeri samples is that on a genetic level, they are again mostly of early Iranian Iran, Calcolithic and Kuraraxi ancestry, though they do have a bit more uh, Iron Age Hellenic as well as less Arab and also less South Asian as well as less Sub-Saharan African ancestry than the uh, general Iranian population. Overall, with the Azerbaijanis, you can see less foreign ancestry, which is quite interesting. Though, nonetheless, what's also interesting is that despite this, they do have elevated amounts of medieval Mongol ancestry, which is very interesting. Nonetheless, they're mostly just a three-way admixture between Aryans from the Yaz culture, Iran, Calcolithic farmers, and the population of the Kuraraxis culture. Now to end this phase of the video, I just like to say that many of you may be wondering about the Kurds and Azerbaijanis residing outside of Iran. So up next, I'll be taking a look at their genetic origins. Now here are the Kurds from Iraq, Syria and Turkey including the Yazidis. Regarding their heritage, you can see the non-Iranian Kurds are on average 20.4% early Iranian or Aryan, 39.3% Iran Calcolithic, 11.9% Kuraraxis Caucasus, 14.0% Iron Age Hellenic, 7.4% Late Antique Arab, 1.6% Medieval Turkic, 0.8% Medieval Mongol, 2.3% Bronze Age South Asian, 2.3% Modern Caucasian and 0.0% Sub-Saharan African. Now what's interesting to note here is that these Kurds also have less Aryan as well as less Iran Calcolithic ancestry compared to the other Iranians though nonetheless they're very close to the Iranian Kurds and what this means is that genetically the Kurds outside of Iran are mostly descended from similar ancestral clusters that the modern day Kurds from Iran are descended from which is quite interesting and remarkable. Thus overall what this means is that the Kurds of today that live outside of Iran are mostly of Iranian descent though they do have more ancestry deriving from other sources such as an Iron Age Hellenic source as well as a source related to the late antique Arab population nonetheless they are still very close to modern day Iranians especially the Kurds of Iran. Moving on here are the breakdowns for the other Rajanis residing outside of Iran so you can see they are on average 15.7% Yaz Aryan, 22.1% Iran Calcolithic, 24.7% Kuraraxis, 11.0% Iron Age Hellenic, 5.0% Late Antique Arab, 3.8% Medieval Turkic, 2.4% Medieval Mongol, 1.3% Bronze Age South Asian and 14.1% Modern Caucasian. With these results, what you can see is that the Azerbaijanis outside of Iran are largely very similar to the Iranian Azerbaijanis, which is very interesting. Though nonetheless, they do have elevated amounts of Caucasian as well as medieval Mongol and medieval Turkic ancestry compared to other modern day Iranians. Nonetheless, genetically, they are very much akin to the Iranian Azerbaijanis. Thus, these results prove that on a genetic level, the Azerbaijanis from outside of Iran are largely of Iranian genetic descent, though with elevated Caucasian ancestry, which is very interesting, as well as elevated East Asian ancestry. To conclude, this analysis took a look at the modern day Iranians as well as the Kurds and the Azerbaijanis and proved that they are mostly of native West Asian descent as well as having a bit of Aryan ancestry also though nonetheless what's critical to note here is that on a genetic level the Iranians as well as the Kurds and Azerbaijanis are largely of autochthonous West Asian Neolithic Iranian descent which is quite interesting and remarkable.
Oral, what this means is that despite being partially admixed with foreign sources, nonetheless the Iranians of today are one of the most contagious populations in the entire Middle East. This video thus serves as the ultimate refutation to white nationalists as well as deluded Iranian nationalists and Afrocentrists, all of whom spew the ridiculous nonsensical claims concerning Iran's genetic heritage. That's essentially it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.